Edom will not go unpunished. Bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh shy, bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh shy, bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh shy. Call halal la Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shy. That's Hebrew. Interpret bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh shy. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh shy. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, I'm the brother Tiza War from the GMS mm -hmm. New Jersey camp. Mm -hmm. And uh this is gonna be another lesson. Lord willing, I pray Yahweh Bashim Yahusha allow me to edify those of the whole four elect. And um this is a little different. This is a summary mm -hmm. for Ezekiel chapter 35. Alright, and uh this summary puts a nail in the coffin for you Edomites, you know. I do me which which Idumia is a Greek word which means Edom. You know, and who is Edom? Who is Esau Edom? Esau Edom is the older brother, well let me say older twin brother of Jacob. Alright, and if you need to know who Jacob and Esau is, you need to read Genesis the twenty fifth chapter. Because Jacob and Esau are the two main characters that play a big role, the major role, let me say a major role in the Lord's movie. All right, the Bible is a scripture, got scriptures in it, and, and reality that we live in is the movie. So when the Lord prophesies things that come to pass, it plays out uh, in our lifetime. It plays out before our eyes. And right now, we're, we're in the year of prophecy as an elder apostle to hard coin this year because prophecies are taking its course. It's taking place. It's coming to pass. All right, and you can tell we at the end. Hey, we're in the book of Revelation, man, which is Revelation is short for what? Reveal. And revealing is what? The prophecies. You know, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, you have this World War Three, this excitement of it, you know, which is still a rumor until they declare it. You still got earthquakes in diverse places, man. You got uh, uh you got sedition among men. You got man, listen, man. This thing when it when it happened, it's gonna hit, man. You know, so anyway. Um, this is a little different. This is a summary of Ezekiel chapter 35. And uh, I've been wanting to do this. Uh, wanted to uh, read this, but I didn't know how to bring it out. I didn't know whether should I read the verses and then read the summary or just read it all together. But through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord will. I'm just going to go in the spirit and uh, hope to edify. So this is Ezekiel chapter 35 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thou face against Mount Seir, and prophesize against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. <laughs> All right. So the Lord, <coughs> the Lord is against you Edomites. And he says he's going to make your cities are most desolate in your land and right now what land does Edom have the world East, he has America well he runs the world but his land is America alright in which you know and I'll say Britain all of that in Europe you know that he runs all of that man but the most high is going to make it most desolate you know especially here in America which is known to be Babylon the Great so, so now let me read the summary. It says, we see a new prophecy beginning here. The time element is not given. All right. Mount Seir was the land given to the descendants of Esau. This would have been Edom. Judgments have already spoken on Edom, but perhaps this is a fervor. This is a fervorance of that judgment spoken. Edom represents all the nations which have opposed Israel, just as Egypt symbolizes the unsaved world. Now, I don't know what he mean by that, but this 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 prophecy represents Esau Edom as a nation of people. Now, if that's actually trying to say that, you know, it's an example for any other nation that dealt with Israel a certain way. Well, yeah, that's true, too. You know, any any nation that have put uh, any nation that have. Uh, you know, done wrong to Israel, you're going to be dealt with. Matter of fact, scriptures prove that. Was it First Thessalonians? It says, uh, 
Uh, he, he that, uh, uh, there I go. Recompense tribulation to those that troubled you. So the Lord is going to recompense tribulation to all those that troubled us, man. All right. So let me continue. It says this is really not against the mountain itself, but against the people who dwell there. This could be a prophetic message to the land who opposed Israel in our day. OK, so clearly through the summary is telling you that the Lord is not talking to the mountain of Mount Seir. He's not talking to the land. He's talking to the people that dwell in the land. And that's Edom. All right. Because Esau is still here. All right. Esau exists. He's here and he's ruling the world. Okay. You see him every day on your in the movies. You see him every day on your TV shows. You see him every day when you go to the, when you go to your place of business. He runs the world. You are part of his system. You are in his pit. All right. Now it says, um, verse three, I'm going to read the verse again and say unto it, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee and I will stretch out my hand against thee and I will make thee most desolate. Now it says, we remember from the previous lesson that God's hand being stretched out shows the judgment is set. So <laughs> the judgment is set for you Edomites to go down. Okay. You know, you can strive toward the enterprise of what your new world order is and microchip and turn everybody to a transhuman. But it tells you in Job, the Lord is going to uh, upset your enterprise, man. You're not going to achieve and, and eat comfortably and live out, you know, what your new world order is. You know, I can't wait to start seeing when they uh, start forcing this chip, man. They start pushing it even harder because that's what they have to do. It's a part of their agenda. All right. Now, in verse four, it says, I will lay thou cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. It says the judgment of God was to punish those who had been unfaithful, but they were also but they were also to make those receiving the judgment realize who God is. Their cities are to be totally destroyed. So you're going to realize, Esau, who the most high is. You know, see, we out here as ambassadors, prophets, teachers, and, and forerunning, you know, this the, the Lord's gospel. But you're going to meet him when he visit. And what is written? Second Edges 9, he's uh, visiting this earth in which he made. You know, this is the time when the Lord is visiting the earth in which he made. You didn't make this land. You didn't make this world. He gave you rulership, but you ruled in wickedness. Did not the Lord show favor to the wicked? Anyway, let's continue. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. You know, it's not to this day Esau... Is, is forcing the sword over uh, Forcing his sword over the so-called Negroes and Latinos Native and Seminole Indians So-called uh, 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 Haitians and so-called West Indians It's not he's still forcing his sword Alright It says God had promised from the beginning to bless those who bless Israel And to curse those who curse Israel It's not Esau cursing Israel right now Alright it says, this is a dangerous, this is a date, this is a dangerous to come against Israel. This is very much like the danger that exists when someone comes against God's anointing. <laughs> so coming against the Lord's anointing, the elect, the most high going to deal with you, man. All right. He going to deal with these Edomites. And all we got to do, brothers, is be patient. It says the person or country which makes such a foolish mistake <laughs> it's a foolish mistake to come against the lord scriptures say falling into the hands of the lord it's a terrible mm -hmm. thing it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the lord man but what the scriptures say uh, t uh do my prophets no harm touch not my anointed and you know these devils got it out for brothers they want to kill us man just by teaching this truth these devils want to take us out because they feel we're a threat 
we going they feel like what we're preaching is is going to upset their enterprise you know so and it is you know whether they take us out or not you know the lord said uh don't fear him that could kill the body but fear him that killed the body and soul in hell man and i'm roughly paraphrasing that you know so we got to fear your howabashim yahushai man not this devil because the most high could raise us right back up did not Yahweh Shai raise up Lazarus? You know? It says, The person or country which makes such a foolish mistake will be dealt with by God. This punishment coming on them is for their hatred of Israel. They did not even help Israel in the time of need. Okay? When the Babylonians sacked us, you devils stood on that other side and you gave us up and you helped them, man. Was not Jacob Esau's brother As the scriptures say The Lord said I have loved Jacob but hated Esau The most high hates you Edomites man And y'all gonna learn that man All you Edomites gonna learn That the most high hates you You know if you don't see it already You gonna see it soon Y'all here praising Jesus Christ as if The Lord is with you when you raped, robbed and murdered You know Every resources in the damn earth Man now you wanna take over Iran You know you know, and then now he got there. Man, let me continue on the scriptures. <laughs> Get me started. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 6. Therefore, uh, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue mm -hmm. thee. You know, since you didn't hate it, blood, blood going to uh, pursue you. You know? Hey, Most High is good for uh, uh, getting you back. You know, he's, uh, he's good for righting your wrong with the wrong you done. You know, mm -hmm. that's why the scriptures say uh, he will take him in the device that he have imagined. So the wrong that you do, he gonna he gonna right your wrong, man. In the wrong, in the same way that your wrong was done, he gonna do it unto you. It says since uh, since is a partial used to show emotion. Such as low, Edom seemed happy about the fate of Israel. Much blood was shed in Israel. God believes in equal justice. See, <laughs> Yahweh believes in equal justice. That's right. That's why the scriptures say, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yahweh believes in equal justice, Esau. All right, Edom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause you think you can get away with this murder and robbery and this and this the shit that you do, but the Lord believes in equal justice. Blood for blood is His judgment. Woo! <laughs> they were bloody people, so Yahweh will bring blood punishment upon them. God, <laughs> this is why I wanted to read the summary, man. It's beautiful. Music. This is Ezekiel chapter 35 and 7. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out of him that returneth. It says the desolation will be so great, this would not be repopulated again. The usual people who travel through the land will avoid that route because of the devastation. Now, this is Ezekiel 35 and 8. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. And in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall uh, that are slain with the sword. All right. So it says they had sided with, in, they have sided in with the Chaldeans against Israel. Now it is their turn to be killed. Exactly, because it's going to come a point in time when you're going to be hunted. You can hunt. You hunt. You hunt. You hunt men down, you know, Esau hunt animals. They hunt men. They hunt Jake every day. You know, they, they this guy's a criminal. They, the Esau says he's a criminal. They hunt him down. You know, they, they Esau says he's a terrorist. They go hunt him down. Esau stages guys to be terrorists and then they hunt him down. But it's going to come a point in time where you're going to be hunted, man. You're going to be hunted by your Hawabash and your shot. It says... They had sided in with the Chaldeans against Israel. Now it is their turn to be killed. They had been so ruthless with Israel 
Now they are destroyed with an overwhelming army. <laughs> Another name for Edom is Idumia. History tells us that the Edomites just fade from the history books. <laughs> Let's read this again. Another name for Edom is Idumia. History tells us that the Edomites just fade from history from the history books. Perhaps the curse placed upon them that is spoken of here brings that about. First off, Esau tries to erase the history. And Esau is here today. And we're here to reveal who Esau is. Matter of fact, is it not written when Paul said uh, uh, he shall be revealed in his time? The son of perdition. Well, right now, since Esau wanted to lie and hide, the Lord is revealing him in his time. This is his time to be revealed. You know, talking about some history tells us that the Edomites just fade from the history books. Perhaps the curse placed upon them that is spoken of here brings that about. All right. Now it says Ezekiel 35 and 9. I will make thee petrol, perpetual, petrol desolation and thou city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Now it says there will, there will be no more cities. There are completely destroyed. There will be no more Edomites either. Hey, this is a future prophecy. I mean, maybe this is what vocab is trying to say Esau don't exist no more. Maybe this is what he read. <laughs> but this is a future prophecy, man. Even the summary tells you that there will be no more Edomites either. Because when the Lord fulfilled his prophecy, it's going to be the end of you, man. But first, you're going to go into slavery for a thousand years, man. All right? You reap what you sow. And then the Lord is going to fulfill the prophecy in Obadiah. So even in the kingdom, there's still going to be prophecies that were written from the beginning being fulfilled. Even in our kingdom, even when this devil go down, man, the most High bring this devil down and we set up and we living in the kingdom. The Lord still got a prophecy because he's going to get rid of you Edomites, man. All right. Verse 10, it says, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. And we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Now it says Edom had uh, decided they would just take over Israel and Judah. <laughs> While they were down from their defeat by Babylon, these two nations really belong to the Most High. Edom would have been taken over what belongs to God. The Lord Yahweh would not allow this. He had promised this land to Abraham and his descendants forever. This was their promised land from God. <laughs> and guess who's in our land today? You know, Esau, man, who was calling themselves uh, 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 Jews. And really, Jew is short for Judah. You know, who's calling himself Jewish? Esau, man. <laughs> it says, let me read that again. The Lord would not allow this. He had promised this land to Abraham and his descendants forever. You're not the chosen. Let me say that. You're not the chosen. All right. Uh, Jacob was the chosen one. This was their promised land to God. Right. To Yahweh. This is Ezekiel 35 and 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make thyself known among them when I have judged thee. It says the hatred of the Edomites for the Israelites goes all the way back to Esau and Jacob. <laughs> Israel, the envy as well as the hatred extended that far back as well. The birthright was Esau's. He sold it for a bowl of soup. His brother Jacob tricked, tricked their father into giving him the right hand blessing. This anger had come from generations to generation. And guess what? It's still going on to this day. Still to the generation today. It says probably they did not even know where it came from. They had always been enemies of Israel. And that's true. Still to this day. Esau, he don't know why he hates you so-called blacks and Latinos. He don't know why he hates you. He just hates you. You know, they made this thing about a color thing. It ain't about a color thing, man. It's deeper than that. It goes back to Jacob and Esau. Esau, when Jacob supplanted Esau twice, Jacob said, when my father passed, he was going to take Jacob out, man. He's had that hatred, perpetual hatred for a long time. 
you know, and that's where it started. This is why Edomites and uh, and Jacob can't get along, man. And, and and also too, the Lord told Rebecca that there shall be two different manner of people. We're two different manner of people. We're not the same. Just because we got two legs and two arms, everybody that's considered uh, uh, a creature, a human, you know, really human mean of color, man of color, but. <clears throat> Man, does it mean we're all the same, man? We got different customs. We got different spirits in the way we carry ourselves a different way, how we man ourselves, the way we were raised, the way we talk, the way we laugh. You know, you can't join us together with them. You know, and that's why that dude Martin Luther King said that, man, at the very end before he died. He said he think he uh, you know, he think he done uh ran his people into a burning building. Yeah, because he knew what the fuck was going on, man. He knew he was destroying you so-called black people, man. You know? To try to joint with these devils, man. But, um... I'm gonna read one more. I'm gonna wrap this thing up. This is Ezekiel 35 and 12. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thou blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate. They are given to us to consume. It says to speak against Israel was to speak against God. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> to speak against Israel is to speak against the Most High. And this devil speak against us every day, man. Every day. <laughs> Ooh. It says to speak against Israel was to speak against Yahweh. These were his chosen people. The Lord Yahweh fights Israel battles for them. Oh, man. It says the Most High will take vengeance on Edom for the terrible things they had said about Israel. Edom had helped attack Judah. <laughs> they were proud. When all of Israel fell, they thought they might rush in and take the country for themselves. While Israel was done, they felt they had been tricked out of the land and that it actually belonged to them. Every blasphemous thing they had said had been heard by Yahweh. They would pay for everything they had said. You know? Whew. Whew, whew. <laughs> oh, man. This is Ezekiel 35, 13. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. It says, notice, God counts these things said against Israel as being said against him. Verse 14, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. It says, this is speaking of the time when Israel will come back into the land to possess it. They would rejoice greatly because the Most High will restore them to their former greatness. Edom will not be restored. There will be no joy for Edom. So when we come into power... Esau is going to not have East when when we come into our power, we're going to rejoice and Esau is going to mourn, man. While Esau is in his power, we're going to mourn, man, as we are now. Now, Ezekiel 15, 35, 15, as they as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. It says, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate. O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. They had rejoiced when Israel had been overrun by Babylon, and their cities burned. They had laughed in their calamity because they were so happy at Israel's destruction. The Most High will bring even uh, bring an even worse destruction upon them. This area was destroyed, and is now a desert area. What uh, whatever God says he does, all will know that he is God because he does exactly as he says, you know. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, I probably could have done it better if I sat down, but I'm in driving. But um, it is what it is. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the hopeful elect. And all we got to do is be patient, man. The Lord is going to fight for us, man. <laughs> You devils are in for a rude awakening, man. With that, Shalom, man. Shalom. <laughs>